Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus. Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. This is a reading for July 2021 and I'm going to use the Lenormand or Lenormand cards so I can have a look into every area of life. Um, it's going to be a very intuitive reading so I'll just see what messages want to come through. And since this is a general reading it may not resonate for all of you but of course you can also check out your other placements and just see what resonates most okay cancer someone rising and or venus change is falling out so there are going to be positive changes in your life july 2021 destiny is stepping in i'd say so i'm gonna lay out the cards first if you don't want to see me laying out the cards just jump ahead a little bit there are always two people two main characters in this deck and that is the male person and the female one two three four five six seven eight cards in a row so uh, i always need to decide who is the card for the person watching and obviously if you would have a private reading i would use it use it according to your gender uh, so i'm using in this case in this general reading now i'm using the lady as your card the lady is you cancer sun moon rising and or venus um, no matter of your gender and the other person in that case is then uh, your love interest your partner could be a good friend the person you're dealing with in july again no matter of, the, of their gender I am going to fall, I can tell you this very straight, I am going to fall into the gender roles, especially with a male person, because it's a male person and once I'm in the reading, uh, it's a bit hard for me to really uh, be mindful of the differences, that it could be also a, a female. So I'm just going to fall into saying, oh yeah, the, this, this male person, uh, just swap it for you. So I'm going to lay out the next four cards. Okay. All right. So the first card I see that is very obvious is that this person here, that's the house of the other person. So what I'm always doing, I'm using the cards that I see here and I'm using the houses they are in. Um, so there is love for this person and there's a lot of happiness and success when it comes to this person i feel like um there's a lot of movement and usually i would start with your card first but this is something that i've been pulled into so i'm going to start with this there might be a meeting coming in with this person if you, that is a new person for you um but also there's a lot of movement so maybe you're moving houses moving countries going on a journey uh having a lot of experiences a lot of adventures a lot of things that you do with this person uh, there is a new beginning so that could refer to a new beginning within the relationship but it could also refer to let me see yeah i almost feel like this actually could that could that could potentially be a new person in your life um, but also it could refer to a beginning a new beginning in your relationship there is a new flow of life there is really i feel like there is a very abundant energy around this person um that might be financially but also i feel like there's a lot of appreciation a lot of compliments um this seems to be a very kind nice person who really wants to show you their affection and maybe this person is coming just like into your life or like I said there's a lot of movement a lot of flow a lot of abundance surrounding this person and I feel like you are in love with this person um there are some conflicts though or let's say conflicts there are some that is um a little bit of a of a blockage or a challenge here between you guys um that might be referring to block communication or a contract that is not really going through um something related to communication or a contract that seems to be a challenge that seems to be a bit difficult where uh, especially this person needs to be very mindful about how to communicate this could refer to work by the way so there might be something related to a work contract or communication at work where this person should be a little bit strategic or mindful or clever about how to communicate or how to go on about this contract because that seems to be a little um that seems to be a little challenge at least um i do feel also yeah there is this relationship 
with this person there is either like I said either this is a new relationship or there is a positive change within the relationship which is causing uh, a new beginning uh, that might refer to a pregnancy that might refer to announcing something in public uh, maybe you're announcing uh, that you are together now maybe you're announcing that you're getting a child maybe you're announcing a wedding um, whatever this is it feels like there's a lot of new and abundant and lush energy when it comes to this person and the relationship you have with this person even though there are some blockages or, or a little bit of um, challenges here. Let's move to your card. Um, I do see the cards around you have to do with work, where there are blockages at work. So maybe this person is helping you with your blockages at work and your challenges. There are things not really clear here for you in your work life. And I also feel like... Um, I mean, there is a solution. There is a solution to this whole situation, um, to the blockage or the challenge and the not knowing related to work, which could refer to someone in an influential position. Something is going to change here. And I do feel um, like it's good to use your intuition when it comes to uh, changing something. And I do feel like a solution in this case could actually be to cut something off or to to shorten something because we do have the key here related to the situation this is the house of the key and we have the scythe here so i that's what i always pick uh, already picked up a few minutes earlier but i didn't want to say it because i didn't see the cards around but now that i go further into i actually see that i feel like something is possibly gonna end here um, that might be reducing the hours that might be cutting a contract completely short but then again be clever about how you um how you proceed how you communicate and this person might help you here when it comes to these matters now the scythe is in the house of the key so the key the solution is to cut something short or to uh, end something and then we do have the new beginning here so there is a new beginning that's in the house of the scythe which is why i'm pointing this out so this ending and new beginning energy we have here when it comes to these energies uh, there might be public work maybe this is related to you working in public or that the public um, situation is causing this um, confusion related to your work uh, i do feel related to your work life there is a lot of um, there is a lot of conflict energy because you worry we do see the worry maybe the worry related to long-term stability when it comes to work there are challenges that are related to things not being quite clear which could also be related to a someone in an influential position or it could refer to your position actually and and then the public plays a part here as well so there is there's worry and stress nervousness related to the public or um, a public uh, could be an event or um, the group so that could be the group of people you're working with where there's something not quite right there might be a snake manipulating things in your work life um, or there are simply complications and delays that you're facing um, so i also feel like the energy of stability of long-term stability in this area of your life um, it's a bit wonky here um, but then again this whole thing might refer to you moving houses right because in your house of the house we have the ship so maybe with this person being in the sh house of the ship maybe you're moving away maybe you're moving to a different country maybe you're moving to a different place and this is also why this whole situation comes up in your uh, work life now looking at the house here we do see okay there is some sort of ending uh, related to the house uh, we do have a contract here there is are some informations and facts related to um, a contract um, there are good cards around as well so i'm not saying that it is necessarily like um, a fact that you're moving houses or that there's something ending with the house but um, there is something especially if i see those last cards i see like there's a sudden ending related to your house the place you are living in which could be your flat your house your town your city um, or something related to family matters um, and related to support so maybe there's a sudden ending of the support of something related to these topics um, all right let's go a little bit further because we do see the ring here um, there are 
decisions there are decisions new beginnings and possibly something related to withdrawing from a, a relationship there could be an old relationship here um, where there might be still a separation a divorce going on um, but also this could be the decision related to a specific relationship partnership friendship to withdraw uh, there is some conflict and I feel like the conflict is also related to your own strength and power your own influence I feel like you don't really trust your it feels like you're and I see this here as well because what's unclear here your strength your influence your power and I feel like you're not really trusting yourself it feels like you could um, work a little bit more on loving yourself on your self-worth because uh, I feel like there's something um, where you are not trusting yourself Mm. we do see new finances and a new flow coming though but i feel like there's something to work through like those like trust yourself uh trust um trust your strength trust yourself uh, say no it feels like there's something where you need to say no to in order to gain a new flow into your life i do again see there is a lot of change coming and i feel like it's important to follow your heart really and to be true and authentic um following your heart because that is going to bring here a really positive change when you say no to something that doesn't feel right to you made a contract a partnership a relationship may it be something related to the public a specific environment the house you're living in whatever this is where you feel like you want to say no to if you follow your heart if you are authentic then this is going to bring you in abundance and a flow and a really beautiful positive change here all right let me see what else can i see so i've done those cards now i've gone a lot I felt like a lot of the the energy of uh, work is coming through here like i said i do f mm, okay there's something related to your love life or you following your heart again where i feel like you're not really trusting um it feels like maybe you have had a lot of experiences in the past where uh you are now very skeptic very cautious and i feel like you don't really trust because you have experienced a lot of pain a lot of sorrow uh, maybe even related to your family life where you're now like really guarded we do see a lot of success and happiness in your love life here but I do see also uh, the energies of the heart being very guarded there is again a positive change that might cause a bit of stress and nervousness here um, maybe you haven't really uh, learned to stand up for yourself and to say no I do feel like this is really important here I do feel like this is a very important lesson to stand up and say no uh, to bring in a new flow of abundance in general in your life because when you step up when you um, learn your self-worth when you learn to take care of yourself and to say no to the things you don't want you make room for the things that uh, you do want and that want to come into your life and that's what I see here check this I was um, actually uh, trying to get more information about the lesson because that's a card for the lesson and uh, this is actually refer uh, yeah mirrored onto you so you are connected to the cross which is uh, the lesson the karma what do you need to learn what do you need to learn the house of the karma is the dog which is trust trust yourself trust mm, in relationships again And that might be something that is here also a little bit of an issue that you do not trust this person there's love for this person but you might not trust it which is causing a blockage here um, and also maybe this is not being communicated because maybe you um, do not stand up for yourself which also means accepting you where you are at now and if you have experienced a lot of shit in your love life then it's completely understandable that you are a bit cut off a bit, uh, a bit closed off that you are guarded but i do feel like it's very important to accept yourself where you are and to also communicate where you are to stand up for yourself to be st strong independent and say listen this is how i feel i would like to open up but <clears throat> it's it's difficult for me and then see how the person reacts like i said around this person there's, there's a lot of beautiful positive abundant energy and i do feel like there is a, it really feels beautiful here so i do get why there is love and i do get why in the house of love we do have the sun happiness success energy and i also get why you are a bit like closed off and guarded but i feel like this is something that you need to work through with this person this person is here to help you work through your fears <clears throat> 
And may that be a new one or may this be a new cycle in an existing one. All right, everyone, I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, leave a like, comment or subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will also put a link to my Instagram channel below this video. Sending you all so much love and see you next time.